Them no know, them no know, them no know Say me a real top girl Them fi know me a real top girl Real, real top girl, real top girl Me can do it natural Them no know, them no know, them no know Say me a real top girl Them fi know me a real top girl Real, real top girl, real top girl Me can do it natural Face pretty, me no need no filter Real top girl a road Shop like splinter, me no wear girl clothes Me no pose in a rental Work for this, it no coincidental Money Longer than the line in the airport Eat them white like my ear force me a drip And soon need a raincoat creep up on them like police in a plain clothes Them no know, them no know, them no know Say me a real top girl Them fi know me a real top girl Real, real top girl, real top girl Me can do it natural Them no know Hey YouTube besties, this is your girl Arlena I'm back at it with another video This set would be a set that I did for my girlfriend's daughter for a wedding um, I would have posted the inspo and what she got on IG this was done in August so here I'm going to prep her nails I start with the cuticle prep first um, so I'm using the Melody Susie cuticle bit to clean around her cuticles and remove any dead skin that's on the nail and around the cuticle area or as they would say around the epinechium um she did not have a lot but i still do it regardless just to make sure there is nothing there that can cause lifting so this is my first step my second step would be the cuticle ball bit Normally, if I have to use the cuticle pusher, I would use that first, then the cuticle bit, then the ball bit, um, so that I don't have to use the nippers. I prefer to use a nipper on myself rather than to use it on others. So I'm going to continue with my prep process. If you're new to watching my videos, um, I would really appreciate it if you go ahead and give me a thumbs up, um, comment, and don't, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. For you who are returning, I want to say thank you for always taking the time to watch my videos and ensure that you guys comment and give me that thumbs up if you want to go the extra mile. Go ahead and share it to your socials. Here I'm taking the medium sanding band from Melody uh, Susie, which is the purple, to remove the shine. This would have been before I started actually using the diamond bit to do my prep work and remove the shine from the natural nail. I still have a lot of those sanding bands as well as the pink ones. So I still have to try and get rid of them, but that is what I was using before. I have since then changed my process and used a diamond bit instead of the sanding band, which has been doing wonders for my retention. So once I'm finished with the prep, I go ahead and I use the Zule's um, coffin tips, regular coffin tips, and that glue that I'm using is the best one that I have found so far. It's by Cala, it's C A L A. I paid four dollars for that glue back in July when I was doing Gabby's nails, and I still have it, and it's not dried that glue is the bomb.com then i use my 5-in-1 carbide bit to blend the tip to the natural nail i used to use the sanding band but i find the sanding band heats up too much and then it burns the client so i don't want that to happen then i'm going to use my legacy dehydrator to dehydrate the nail and my melody Su lord i'm talking about melody susie already my mia secrets extra bonded 
and I do two coats of that. I let it dry as much as possible. And then I go in with my application. I'm gonna leave the application in real time so that you can see how I apply my tip, my acrylic, sorry. I put the first bead where I blended the tip with the natural nail. And then I do my second bead just under that. Um, I use as many beads as possible to make sure that my nail is even and I have a good seam between cuticle and acrylic. Um, I've tried the one bead method. Um, I guess if I'm trying to save time and stuff that will work, but I prefer to work with as many beads as possible. So I'm going to let you watch the application process. I'm going to play some music in the meantime and I'll be back after.
I'm 
Okay, so I'm almost to the end of the application part of the video. Um, once I finish laying the cover color, I put a layer of clear on top of it because um, her nails were so long and this was the first time in a long time that she had worn nails. I wanted to make sure I gave her the strength and support that was needed for the length of her nails. Um, so that was my reason for giving, doing the layer of clear on top of the cover color. So that portion of the video will be sped up. The only thing I'm going to leave in real time after this application is part of the filing when I was using the hand file because I think the sound was so soothing. Although most of the time my dust collector drowns out the sound of the filing, you can still hear it at times. So um, enjoy the video when it comes back to the filing. I'm gonna let you hear that. Like I said, from here it's gonna be sped up. The only thing I'm gonna leave in real time after this is the filing with the hand file not with the e-file but with the hand file enjoy the video once again if you are new don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're returning thank you for coming back don't forget to like and comment if you feel like going the extra mile you can go ahead and share to your socials i'll be back Okay guys, so I'm back. Now my process for filing is I would use my 5-in-1 drill bit to debulk and shape a little bit, not a lot, but just to debulk and take off whatever excess I need to take off. And then I use my hand file to shape and I turn the client's hand around so I can see the 
nails from their perspective and shape again and especially the tip so that it is straight and it doesn't look crooked because you know when we do it from our angle sometimes when we look at it from their angle it's a bit crooked so that's what I do and then I use a diamond bit to seal the cuticles I use a buffer to take off all the grooves and scratches from the hand file and the e file and then i use the 180 buffer to smooth the nail with some cuticle oil and i have the client wash their hands and then i wipe with alcohol so even though you see her hands clean and dry and well dusted and stuff i still tend to wipe with alcohol to ensure i take off whatever cuticle oil is left after they've washed their hands to make sure when i put on the top coat it doesn't separate that's my reasoning behind it so here you see me wiping her nails with the alcohol before i do the top coat and i did i used sorry the zule tough on top coat i'm trying to get rid of that it is a good top coat but it's very very thick and for some reason it spills out of the bottle i don't know why i don't know how but for some reason it runs it spills out the bottle so i'm trying my best to get rid of that and also it burns it heats up a lot so sometimes even though i have an acrylic when i do put it in the lamp it still burns me so i'm trying to get rid of it i love it it is very tough it is very tough but i think it's a bit too thick for my liking because it scratches and stuff it takes a lot for you to scratch that top coat but it's a bit too thick for my liking so i'm going to let her cure for 90 seconds and then i'm going to come back and do the design of the frenchie um, we need frenchies on two fingers and um bling on one now i'm using i think this is the is it the eight millimeter brush i think it is the eight millimeter brush can't remember which one it is um the longest one that i have but my issue here is that i'm using um nail polish or nail lacquer and not gel polish so it was drying up pretty fast on me um so i had to improvise but this was my first attempt hopefully the next time i do frenchies i have gel polish that i can use so i'm going to show you me doing the design and then that ends the video <laughs> thank you guys for watching Okay guys, so we're at the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. If you're returning, thank you for coming. And enjoy. Sending you lots of love, sunshine, and rainbows from Barbados. Bye you too, Bessie.